What's up, YouTube? So this is my second time recording this because the first time it was way too loud in that mic because I was way too close to it. So we're trying this for the second time and you're going to try to get this up there. So it's been a little bit since I've been on my YouTube grind, so we're back on it here with the 52-week series. Now, why? What's in 52 weeks? So this is going to be a 52-week prep all to compete for the 2017 NPC Jay Cutler, which will be next fall. Right now, we're looking at it's about November. Today is November 7th, 2016. The last NPC Jay Cutler show was October 29th, and I had a few friends compete in that. That was Michelle Gavin and Joey Rilke. First of all, just for you two, you both crushed this competition. See if I can add some photos on the screen here just so we can see it. You gave it everything you had, man. The hard work, the prep, everything paid off for you, and you looked great, man. You looked phenomenal. I can't wait to see you on that show again and hopefully take that stage one day with you because, honestly, it was a sight to see. Couldn't be more proud of you, man. You honestly, you absolutely just crushed it. And, Michelle, words can't, words can't say it. I mean, you dedicated yourself to this for months on end. You went from one prep with class and work to then retackle prep all over again. Brought in the best physique that you've ever had on a stage. You went up there and just had a dominating presence. I couldn't be more proud of you. And everybody that stands behind you and supports you, we're always there to back you up 100%. And you were a sight to see. Glad I had the ability to watch it. And from everybody and me to you, you did you did phenomenal. Like no doubt in my mind or anybody else. You crush it. So, I am, on the real note, a little bit jealous everybody beat me to the stage. You know, I feel like I'm, like, late to the party. But, you know, I know I have work to do, and I can't put myself on stage in a position that I know isn't, isn't suitable for stage presence. Like I've said before, I'm going on stage, and if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the hassle of dieting, I'm going to go through... Not that dieting's a hassle, but contest prep and dieting are two separate things. Dieting is, like, making healthy food decisions. Contest prep is... You give up everything for contest. <laughs> it's like literally everything's out the window. So I've hit the point where currently I've actually been prepping for about f about 17 weeks so far. So in my prep, it's going to include me trying to put on size. So it's not like a bulk, as some people are going to call it. I'm calling it bulk season because everybody else calls it bulk season. But it's not like eating whatever you want. It's a very regimented meal plan, all geared towards putting on the most lean muscle size that I can. And I'll probably do that for, I'd say, maybe around 20-ish more weeks. Hard to tell looking at it now. And then probably then start cutting down just like to just really shred into this contest that's going to be coming up. So when I start cutting, I'm going to think anywhere from like about maybe about 30 weeks. Maybe a 30-week cut. Again, hard to say from now, but that's what we're going with. And so now why 52 weeks? Because I think that's what my body's going to need to honestly, to be able to put on size and then to be able to cut. I'm a hard cutter. Like my weight, my fat does not just cut itself. I did a contest prep for the NPC Jay Cutler show in April and just was nowhere near ready for it. And as I said before, I'm not going to put myself on stage just to show up. Because I mean, honestly, anybody can go and compete, but not everybody can go and win. And at the end of the day, when you do it all, like that's what you do it to do. But I'll be honest, looking back at it, I was nowhere near stage ready. And I need, if I stood on that stage, I would look like I didn't even belong. Like, it didn't even look like I did prep. I lost about 30 pounds, and it looks like 20 plus of that was all muscle. So, I don't know. So, something was off with either me or coaching, but I followed that diet plan to a T. And so, going to reevaluate, put some muscle size back on, which I've been doing lately. For about the last 16 weeks, it's just been reverse dieting, essentially. And then right now we're kind of like in the peak putting on muscle size mode. Hopefully put on a few more, as, as I said, in the next like 20, 20-ish 20 weeks. Hopefully put on a little more muscle size would be great. And for me personally, I would think my ideal stage weight, I would love to be in the 160s. Now, is that realistic? I'm not quite sure. Right now I'm weighing at about 190, like 187. I'll do a physique update too, probably in a few videos, but I want to keep this one very short and basic essentially. This video here, just pretty much to recap the idea Get the sound down. Again, you interrupted the first video. It's all right, though. He works security at the front door. Anyways, that was a joke I said in the last video, too. But either way, so I'm going to get this video out there. In this next 52 weeks, that's a full year, guys. I mean, honestly, it's a lot's going to happen in 52 weeks. A lot's going to happen in this year. So it's hard to connect the dots looking forward. So can things come up? Yeah, can things happen? But this is the idea as of now. It's been the idea for 
since April, since I knew I couldn't compete on that show, I knew I wanted to put on size for about a year before I started cutting. So this idea has been like months in the making. This is going to be the first introductory video coming out there to introduce the idea. Throughout this one year, I kind of want to recap. I want to recap the, re, wow, recap, recap the entire process of contest prep. So what it takes. A lot of people ask me, Jerry, what's it take to actually get on stage? Or how do you select shows? Or how do you like sign up? So I'm going to try to recap all of that to the best of my ability. Try to keep these videos short and concise and really to the point. And this is where I need your guys' help. You guys honestly keep me accountable. I love all the support you guys give me, and it means a lot, and it does go a long way. So thank you all in advance and ahead of time. And if there's any, any question that you guys have, like feel free to either private message me, shoot me a call, text, email, whatever it's going to be. I'll have my email in the description box as well. And if you have any question about the prep process or what it is, then if I don't know the answer, I have the resources that do, so I can at least help you out in that regard. So that over the next year as well, I'm going to cut recap that process i kind of want to do something with cost like analysis because i feel like that's gonna be pretty cool like how much does it cost to do a prep so i mean you have to pay for your prep coach all right so you can pay for that then you got to pay to actually sign up for the show that's cool too but that's minimal that's nothing compared to the cost of prep like the food is your number one expense so i cannot put a price on food which is what i'm trying to do so it's not going to be exact spot on because to track my food intake for a year, but I'm going to do the best I can to like get like a rough average of that. Supplements, protein powders, BCAs, pre post workouts, post workout also your protein powder, just to get an account of all that. Going to do that to the best of my ability, and then hopefully every week just keep something new coming at you guys. So this video I'm going to try to cut it here, try to keep it very short. We're approaching seven minutes now. I'm going to try to put in a clip. From the gym that I had last week on my epic leg day that I'm still feeling now a, a week later and leg day is tomorrow. What are you going to do? So I'll try to add that here. Enjoy that clip. I look forward to you guys' feedback. Thanks for watching. Where we where we at, though. I know my nigga Rob got the pack though. I heard you like your niggas cut a fat though. Let me finish up this episode. Double Dutch and two L's, but we win right. Act stupid, get left, but we been right. I don't ever, ever care about a skin tight. Yeah, I wanna be up in that windpipe. Wake up every morning looking like I'm in flight. She only get a text right after the fifth swipe. Maybe get a hey, what's good? Can we get right? Already know. The deal hit her after midnight. Yeah. Off your own life, fuck boys on sight. Wow. Hella faded, and I'm turning at the wrong light. Yeah. Only trust it till I get her at that thong right. Oh, yeah. Just know every hotel like it's prom night. Hit a ball star, tell him that we on, right? Yeah, we on. All we do is mob out like it's bomb sites. Sleeping on me, let him sleep.